council meetings are long and boring. Wouldn't it be great if they were short and unboring? This is why I have invented the five minute meeting. All right. Ashland City Council meeting of June 16th. Uh, this guy says uh, 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 the land use language ordinance is pulled because the city administrator says a developer didn't like some of the language, so the whole thing is being redone. Developer, lobbyist, whatever you want to call him. And then he says, hey, uh, uh, I wanted to read a statement. He read the letter to the governor that he wrote asking uh, to fly all Ashland flags at half-mast in honor of George Floyd. And then he, uh, uh, Mayor here said uh, he signed the Obama's pledge uh, to reform police departments. And then this guy read the declaration, B-City Proclamation uh, week of June 22nd is Pollinator Day. And then the COVID update, uh, city administrator said, we got $500,000 from the Federal CARES Act money and COVID cleaning uh, uh, stations. And that paid off the cleaning stations and some staff pay. And then this one says, uh, uh, she says, uh, uh, I can't figure out Zoom. And the city administrator said, we're changing uh, the processes at the city to make transactions contact-free and commissions are starting via Zoom. So that's going to start end of June. And then this one said, uh, I can't find my liaison assignment. And then this guy goes, uh, he goes, hey, uh, there's a zip code thing online to check on COVID cases. And this one says, hey, I heard there's a zip code thing online to check on COVID cases. And then this guy says, uh, hey, don't we need to extend the state of emergency declaration at some point? And the city uh, uh, attorney said, oh, oh yeah yeah and uh, we're suggesting a four-week extension this time and some uh, language change and a state of emergency extension extended then the consent agenda uh, this one uh, says uh, hey, hey uh, this janitorial services contract uh, with less staff working in office can we save money on janitors and the city guy says ah there's less cleaning to do but the COVID cleaning is more time consuming and the parks department fired a bunch of their people so our cleaning guys are uh, and gals I'm sure are uh, are uh, doing uh, the extra parks work so that's all approved. And then, oh, the public hearing. Uh, 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 yearly state budget levy declaration. The state requires a vote from every city uh, that promises that they're doing regular city things like, uh, you know, they provide cops and uh, firefighters and streets and taxes and long meetings and uh, stuff. And then uh, then we get, by approving that, we get our state money for our cigarettes, liquor, and uh, weed taxes. And then this guy goes, he goes, hey, did we just skip uh, the whole uh, uh, city administrator's report? And uh, this guy goes, oh. Oh yeah, yeah, let's go back to that. So, boom, city administrator's report. Uh, uh, one, uh, we're about to uh, send out $140,000 of uh, small business uh, funds info and the form to fill out uh, so that business can apply for that and then they would get their money in three weeks. And then there's uh, tourism grants of 80000 That's uh, whatever little restaurant and uh, hotel tax money we have. That's going to summer and fall events, whatever those are. And then uh, they're looking for grants for mid-term to long-term things of some sort i don't know and then um evacuation planning is continuing uh, there's a forty thousand dollar grant we already have so that's going to happen uh, that study is going to happen end of july and this one goes hey uh june 30th is the end of the uh, utility uh, uh grace period for citizens what's the plan for people who just don't quite have the money yet and the city administrator said we got a six or 12 month uh, payment plan set up and then back to the public hearing remember um the thing almost started so this guy goes hey i'll tell you i approve i say we uh he said three resolutions so that we do everything the state wants us to say in order to get our money from the state all approved and then uh new business uh, ambulance services um as it says i move that we continue our regular city ambulance services for uh three more years while we decide whether or not to to dump the service and then the fire chief says yeah yeah we need to tell the county in a couple months what we're going to do uh but then uh, you know we could we could get out of the three-year deal if we do certain things and this guy goes hey i thought it was uh ah, wait a minute i thought uh I thought, whoa, whoa whoa it sounds like it's gonna be hard to get out of a three-year deal and the fire guy said well it's medium hard and this guy goes it's not a big deal and this one goes ah it's not a big deal we'll be fine and then this guy goes he goes i think we're gonna want out before the three years is up and then uh this one goes I'm never gonna want out of that deal. And then the uh, motion passed. And then, uh, oh, uh, hiring the uh, consultant to help figure out whether we should dump the fire department. Uh, that's this discussion. And then uh, this guy says, yeah, well, we need a consultant because we need more data. Uh, and uh, uh, the money's, it's worth it because it's a complicated issue and we could save a whole bunch of money. And then this one goes, uh, she says, hey, how, how much are we spending on these consultants? By, and what are we getting for that? And uh, how are we paying for all this? And the city administrator went, uh, contingency fund? Passed five to one. No, <laughs> no. And then uh, the downtown street closures. You know, the state ODOT, uh, Oregon Department of Transportation, won't let the city close the main street like the 4th of July every weekend like they want to. But we can close down all the parking spots on either side of Main Street every weekend. 
so that people can walk on them and uh, then they can sell merchandise and uh, food on the sidewalks and stuff and then this one says hey what's uh what about the plaza we can just shut that down right and they said yeah we're working on a version various ways to shut that down that's gonna be awesome and she goes hey what about the uh artists in the uh, guanajuato near the near the uh uh the creek there they're getting they're getting a the short end of the stick and uh uh the city administrator said, "Hey, that's Parks and Rec. That's not me." And she goes, "She goes, hey, we should uh, we should offer them uh, a spot in the plaza. If Parks and Rec is going to be screwing those guys." And then the city administrator said, "Well, we offered them something. We're just waiting here back." So uh, then this one goes, uh, "She goes, hey, what about parking?" And the city guy goes, "Yeah, that's going to be a problem. We're going to we're keeping working on that. We're still working on that." And this guy goes, "I move that we do this. Uh, we shut down every weekend from ju in ju from July to September." Every weekend, we're going to shut down those parking spots, have a little uh, street fair. All approved. That's happening. And then, uh, oh, oh, wait. Then, oh, no, we're good here. Uh, there we are. Uh, the recruiting a new finance director. Um, the HR lady said 36 applicants applied and 16 were qualified. And they're going to have this big process to whittle it down to two or three people. And this one says, uh, she goes, I'm worried about spending money on an expensive new person. And the um, city administrator said, said uh, uh pro finances need a pro uh me me and this other girl tired of doing it because they've been t uh, picking up the slack there and this one says uh, uh is this process fair and non-discriminatory and the hr lady said oh yeah totally is and then he goes hey i move we uh, move forward hiring this new fire finance director and five to one that's the one that said no uh, and then and then after that was done the mayor complained that he should have some kind of masterful power and be the only one to hire the finance director and then he said oh, never mind and then uh, uh what to do with those uh, the three buildings that didn't get the bond money to fix them city hall pioneer hall uh, and a community center and uh and uh city was says what should we start doing and this guy goes hey let's just fix pioneer hall and community center um we have three hundred fifty thousand dollars left over in some account and we can and we can borrow some extra money uh, it's pretty cheap to borrow money and this one says hey we have we have like a hundred how much do we have oh, 175 thousand in another budget so let's just yeah do those two and then and then this one goes uh she says i just want to do the community center pioneer hall stupid I hate that place. And then this guy goes, he goes, I think we should just do the community center, but we shouldn't just fix it. We should redo the whole thing from the ground up. And then uh, this guy goes, he goes, I, should, I, why, I think we should do nothing. The, the bond fails. So obviously people don't want to do anything and maybe city hall's going to move. <laughs> and then this one goes, uh, he says, uh, um, Hey, let's insert the, all the earthquake killing the city employees at City Hall. Let's insert that into discussion. Let's not forget that. And then this guy goes, hey, I, I'm a... Uh I move that we just uh, have staff come back with specific costs for uh, Pioneer Hall and Community Center. And uh, and this one says, all right, well, well are we going to hire someone to get those estimates? How's that working out, city person? And the city guy goes, well, oh, oh, well, Community Center, that's, I mean, we can't figure that out on our own. We need to hire someone to figure all that out. All approved. And then this one says, hey, by the way, don't forget, uh, what about the uh, safety of City Hall employees? Uh, we are going to move them maybe or uh, do something, uh, that thing, to the uh, building, the City Hall building. And this guy goes, hey, uh, 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 hey, lawyer guy, uh, just by asking that question, don't we, aren't we legally covered uh, on liability? Because we actually asked the question. <laughs> and uh, then this one says, uh, uh, any earthquake discussions, uh, they cover so many buildings in town. Let's, let's talk about that later. And she goes, hey, so uh, let's put this on a upcoming meeting agenda. They all agreed. End of meeting. You're welcome.